The, the state Senate has created its own medical marijuana bill. This version would offer experimental treatment for people suffering from seizures, as opposed to the House bill, which offers immediate help to nine medical conditions. 41 NBC's Alexa Rodriguez finds out why House representatives aren't too fond of SB 185. House Bill 1, Senate Bill 185. Two different proposals with one common theme, medical marijuana. SB 185 would create clinical trials for cannabidiol products to treat people under 18 who suffer from medication-resistant epilepsies. HB 1 would allow people who suffer from nine different medical conditions to have a low THC oil medication. We State Representative Alan sure Peake tells 41 NBC SB 185 isn't going to make the significant changes this state needs. What the Senate bill did is ratify that we can have clinical trials uh, here in Georgia. Well, they're already ongoing. Peake claims the trials aren't helping enough people. There are only two children in the clinical trial that's ongoing at GRU. Even if it was expanded, it may would only go to 50 or 100. There are thousands of epilepsy patients. That isn't the only problem he sees. It will not bring any medical refugees back home, and it leaves behind, you know, every cancer patient, every MS patient, uh, and those with Parkinson's disease and ALS. Senator Lindsey Tippins was uncomfortable with HB1's attempt to allow cannabidiol oil to treat a number of different medical conditions. One of the qualifying criteria is cancer. That means if I have a skin cancer on my arm, I can possess cannabidiol. I'm not sure that we want to allow legislation that is that broadly undefined. He explains his bill, SB 185, addresses the issue that first came to the legislature last year, pediatric seizures. Tippins agrees with Peek. There's a bigger problem in Georgia involving this experimental drug. But he feels the only way they're going to make headway is if they provide concrete evidence cannabidiol oil is effective and ethical. I think the only way you're going to ever get it approved by FDA for dispensing through approved medical protocol is through clinical testing. In Macon, Alexa Rodriguez, 41 NBC News. Most, if not all. Senator Tippins tells us a Senate committee will review SB 185 on Thursday. Peak expects the Senate committee to review HB1 within the next few weeks.